This report concerns the Marines in Beirut on that October day when a terrorist truck bomb took the lives of 241 Marines, soldiers and sailors at the airport in Beirut. One of the first to reach the tragic scene was a chaplain, the chaplain of our 6th Fleet, Rabbi Arnold E. Reznikov. And here is what he finally felt urged at the end of that day to put down in writing of the experiences of that day. He said, I, along with Lieutenant Commander George Pooch Pucciarelli, the Catholic chaplain attached to the Marine unit, faced a scene almost too horrible to describe. Bodies and pieces of bodies were everywhere. Screams of those injured or trapped were barely audible at first as our minds struggled to grasp with the reality before us. A massive four-story building reduced to a pile of rubble, dust mixing with smoke and fire obscuring, obscuring our view of the little that was left. It's too easy to give in to despair in a world sometimes seemingly filled with cruelty and brutality. But we must remember not just the depths to which humans might sink, but also the heights to which they may aspire. Because of the actions I witnessed during that hell in Beirut, I glimpsed at least a fleeting image of heaven. For in the hearts and hands of men who chose to act as brothers, I glimpsed God's hand as well. These were the words of Lieutenant Commander Reznikov. In the end, hatred centuries old made it impossible for Lebanon to achieve peace when we and so many others hoped it would. But while they were there, those young men of ours prevented widespread killing in Beirut, and they added luster, not tarnish, to their motto, Semper Fidelis.